Welcome back in. A sharp rise in bear sightings across western Colorado has residents concerned. Our Alex Rivero has more about what you can do to avoid bear interactions. There was not enough of their natural forage to keep them in one place. Colorado Parks and Wildlife has noticed a rise in bear sightings in western Colorado, specifically in the areas of silt, rifle, and parachute. And we saw this because there was what we consider a food failure year. Meaning food like berries and acorns that bears would normally eat became scarce, forcing them to go into urban areas to stay fed. Getting into trash, um, you know, garages, things like that. Rachel Gonzalez with Colorado Parks and Wildlife says that 2022 was an amazing food year because because of better weather conditions, but conditions since then have changed. The year before last, we had an amazing food year because we had a lot of snow and great weather that persisted all year long. So even into late fall, bears were finding great natural food, you know, at higher elevations. Between the dates of April 1 and October 31, 2023, there were 45 sightings and reported bear damage. Compare that to 2024 numbers where they jumped to 152. With this extremely sharp climb in sightings, David Boyd with the White River National Forest has this advice to keep bears away from your home. Simple things you can do like not putting your garbage out at night, you know, on trash day, put it out that morning. Um, if you have, you, you know, have an elf tree in your yard and, and you got this fallen fruit, you know, clean that up so it's not an attractant to bears. Um, when you're when you're camping, just always keep a, a clean campsite. Also this year was an increase in bears moving across roadways, resulting in bears being killed by vehicles. Area 7 Wildlife Manager Kirk Oldham said at a statement that it continues to be an ongoing effort with communities to work on reducing attractions in and around residential areas. For more information on how to protect yourself from bears, visit westernslopenow.com and click on this story. Alex Rivero, KREX News.